Once upon a time, there was a royal horse that used to reside in the premises of the king's palace. The horse was very dear to the king. So, he was taken good care of and well fed. There was a jackal who used to live in the neighborhood of the horse's shed. He was very weak and skinny. He was always fascinated by the smell of the rich, sweet rice being fed to the royal horse. What a royal food this horse has every day. Hmm, lucky fellow. One day, the jackal could not resist the aroma of the rice and somehow he sneaked into the horse's shed. He ate the sweet rice that fell from the horse's mouth. He liked the rice so much that he started coming daily to eat the rice. For days, the huge horse didn't notice the small jackal as he was busy enjoying the delicious food. Gradually, the jackal became bigger and stronger by eating rich food. He came to be noticed by the horse. Who are you, little fellow? I come from the nearby village. Every day I have the leftover food of yours. Hmm, but how come? I have not seen you till now. Don't you know that jackals have too intelligent and that we are too brainy? The jackal smiled with his mouth wide open. <laughs> Good joke. The horse used to enjoy the company of the jackal and started sharing his food with him. Both of them also started sharing time with each other and soon they became good friends. They ate together, slept together and played together. They became such good friends that they hated to be separated. Then, one day, a man saw the jackal and asked the housekeeper, How do you encourage a jackal inside the king's stable? I did not notice him till now. What shall I do? Drive him away. The man drove the jackal away to his village and tied him up. The king's horse became very sad after this incident. He missed his friend a lot and started neglecting everything. He didn't want to do anything without his dear friend. So, he stopped eating and drinking. Ultimately, the horsekeeper reported this to the king. However, he didn't tell anything about the jackal. The king had a wise minister who was known for his understanding of animals. Minister, go to the horse shed and find out the reason for the horse's condition. The intelligent minister went to the horse shed and found the horse very sad. He looked the horse all over and asked the horse keeper. There is nothing wrong with this horse's health. Then why does he look so sad? I think this horse is grief-stricken. 
possibly due to the loss of a dear one. Do you know if this horse shared a close friendship with anyone? No, sir. Don't lie. Tell me the truth. If the horse dies, you will be taken to task. There was a jackal who used to eat, sleep and play with the horse. He has been taken by a stranger three days ago. Where is the jackal? I do not know. Your Majesty, in my opinion, the royal horse is not sick, but is lonesome without his dear friend, the jackal. You are right. Friendship is one of the most wonderful things of life. It's surprising how a horse became friendly with a jackal. That aside, do you know where the jackal is? Housekeeper has informed me that a stranger took him away and that he does not know about his whereabouts. How can we bring back my horse's friend and make him happy again? Your Majesty, make a declaration that whoever has the jackal that used to live at the royal horse's shed will be penalized. The king did so and when the man who took the jackal heard the proclamation, he instantly turned him loose. When freed, the jackal ran back as fast as he could to the horse's shed. The horse was so delighted to see the jackal that he bought down and made him sit on his back. The jackal waved his small tail while the horse's eyes sparkled with happiness. The king was contented to see the royal horse happy once again. Great minister, you are really smart. He also rewarded the minister for his wise judgment. Both the horse and the jackal lived happily thereafter. True affection lasts forever.